this video, I'm going to talk about the Pythagorean Theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So if we look at the Pythagorean Theorem, it states that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. This is only true on a right triangle, where A and B are legs of the triangle, and C is the hypotenuse. Remember, the hypotenuse is always the longest side of the triangle. Common ratios of the Pythagorean theorem are 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 5, 12, 13, and 8, 15, 17. So if you see two legs of the triangle have, you know, any of these first two, three or four, or six or eight, five and twelve, eight and fifteen, you know the third side the hypotenuse is the other one. So if you have three and four on one triangle, it's automatic that you have five is the hypotenuse. If you see six and eight, you know the third side is going to be 10. You see 13 as hypotenuse and 5 as one of the legs. You know the other one has to be 12. And again, if you see 17 and 15 here, the other leg has to be 8. So those are common ratios that you'll see on the exam. If you're able to spot these right away, that was going to save you lots of time on the test. All right, so let's take a look at one example. We have a triangle that has a leg of 9 and 12. And we need to find the hypotenuse. So again, we need to use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. All we're going to do is replace the letters that we know and solve for the unknown. So we got the two legs, 9 and 12. So all we're going to do is plug in 9 for A and 12 for B. So we got 9 squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. 9 squared, 9 times 9 is 81. 12, 12 times 12 is 144. And 81 plus 144 is 225. Now we have 225 is equal to C squared. Now to get just C, we have to take the square root of both sides. The square root of C squared is just C. The square root of 225. 225 is a perfect square. And again, if you practice your perfect squares, you can spot this right away and know that it's 15. If you didn't know this, you should look at our video entitled Perfect Squares. That will help you practice your perfect squares going from 1 to 25. Now in my second example here, we're going to have side, hypotenuse side 8 and leg 3. Okay, so we know the hypotenuse and one of the legs, and we need to solve for the other leg. Again, we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We're going to plug in what we know. We know c squared hypotenuse is 8 squared, and one of the legs is 3, and it doesn't matter if you use, plug that in for a or b. I'll just plug it in for a. So 3 squared plus b squared equals 8 squared. Now I want to get the b squared by itself so I'm going to subtract 3 squared from both sides. It leaves me with b squared equal to 8 squared minus 3 squared. So b squared is equal to 8 times 8 64 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9. That's going to give me 
55. So b squared equals 55. Again, I need to take the square root of both sides to get b by itself. That's going to give me b is equal to the square root of 55. Now you're going to encounter some that aren't perfect squares. Now if you put this on the calculator, it's going to come out to about 7.4. And depending on your answer choices, you round to the Pacific uh, Decimal Place. On our example, ACT SAT problem, it reads as follows. A ramp for a loading truck is 13 feet long. It covers 12 feet along the level ground as shown. How many feet high is the highest point on the ramp? All right, so we have a ramp, we basically have a triangle. The ramp is 13 feet long. Along the ground is 12. So 13 feet long, the ramp. On the ground is 12. Okay, so we got 13 as hypotenuse, 12 as one of the legs. Now, if you memorize your common ratios for Pythagorean theorem, right away you know the other side has to be 5. But if you didn't know, so we just fill out your Pythagorean theorem where you have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Our c is going to be 13, so 13 squared. And then fill in one of the legs for 12 squared. And then we need to subtract 12 squared from both sides. That gives us b squared is equal to 13 squared minus 12 squared. 13 squared is 169. 12 squared is 144. 169 minus 144 is 25. Then I need to take the square root of both sides. And square root of 25 is just going to be 5. So the other side is 5. So the highest point is 5 feet. And I want to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something. And remember that the Pythagorean theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared.